What's up, you guys? Brandon here, and I am uh, here today with another one of our top agents here at Brookstone Realtors, and I'm excited to kind of uh, talk through this conversation with you guys today because I think a lot of people uh, in our market have thought some of the same things that uh, that this guy has thought. And so with me today, I've got, again, one of our best, one of our top agents in all of the company, Mr. Connor Turcott. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah. It's good to be here. Absolutely. Good yeah. stuff. So um, this this story is all about, you know, how did you find our company? You know, there's there's so much. I think a lot of people are saying so many different things. They think so much about what this company is and what this company isn't. There's a lot of skepticism out there. There's a lot of people that don't believe. Um, there's a lot of people, a lot of naysayers, right? Mm -hmm. And I think that, um, and I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I think that was how you felt in the beginning. Is that oh, right? Absolutely. And I've, I've told you that. I think, um, you know, when you hear just the phrase 100% commission, you're automatically based on the way the industry is and what the industry norms are gonna assume that that's just like a unicorn. You know, it's not real. There's gotta be, you know, some some sort of uh, scam or scheme or, you know, how, how can they pull it off? How can you keep 100% of your commission? And that's what I was thinking. And, but I kept seeing you, you know, posting these things on Facebook and I had to kind of find out, you know, what it was. And I, I approached it as like a skeptic where I just wanted to satisfy my own mm preconceived notions that there's no way you can be keeping 100% of your commission and still getting any sort of tools, training, um, environment to be successful in. Cool, so we're gonna kind of talk through that whole that whole part, right? Mm -hmm. And um, so really what you're saying is your BS radar was way up, right? Oh yeah. Way yeah, yeah, up, yeah. 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 So, so that makes sense. And so um, first off, I think for people watching this, what, what were you doing before joining Brookstone? Yeah, so I was on a team. Um, I was with a brokerage that I think a lot of people uh, in the country and world are considering like that brokerage to be the place to be right now. Sure. I um, mean, it has some cool things going on. Um, I was on the team. I was coming off really one of my best years and I've been thinking about going solo for a long time. Um, and knowing that if I do go solo, I'm gonna have you know expenses, I'm gonna have less of a foundation, less of a support system sure. is what I was really worried about. Um, and I wanted to make sure that wherever I ended up, I had the right tools. I really wanna be involved in direct prospecting for sale by owners expired. You know, me on the phone, calling the homeowner, the property owner, not you know spending money on Facebook, Google, Zillow ads. You know, that would, just wasn't my primary focus. So, sure. so I just, um, you know, been on this team for about two years, things were going good. I was able to change my life completely and wow. it felt like, you know, the next step was looming and I'm, you know, really hungry for growth and I love change. Change kind of incites that growth. Um, I kept seeing the, the stuff that you were doing and, you know, I felt if I went solo, I would just stay at the brokerage that I was at. Mm. I had relationships there, the, you know, the model was attractive i guess but when i found out what you were doing over here it was it was a no-brainer cool so. so you wanted to build your business um through direct prospecting you didn't want to buy leads you didn't want to go down the paid avenue yeah you wanted to hone in a skill set that mm -hmm. would serve you for the rest of your real estate career so that was number one mm -hmm. right um and your you let's give people some some context i mean we're you weren't just selling, you're not just selling two or three homes a year, right? I mean, no. well, you know, talk to people about your production so far in, in your career. Yeah, so um, I was uh, part-time in real estate for six months when I first got into it and nothing was happening, absolutely nothing. I was working a, a restaurant job part-time and you know, it was, uh, I felt like it was a curse at the time, but it turned out to be a blessing. I got fired from that restaurant job because I was showing up late, I was trying to squeeze in showings and phone calls and all this stuff and my head just wasn't in the game and luckily my wife was able to support us and I went into real estate full time and that following year I sold 24 homes, uh, just under 8 million in production. You know, I had one month uh, in August where I closed two and a half million that one month. It was more money and commission than what I would have made year round at the restaurant. So it's just, it's it awesome. completely flip flopped my life. It's cascaded into a ton of amazing things, being able to get married, buy a house. And now we have a six month old at home, which 
without real estate, without this career that really, you know, feels like I landed in the right spot, mm -hmm. you know, all this stuff, you know, would be so much more difficult and so scary. Yeah. You know, you know, on my restaurant uh, tips, you know, wages and everything. I just don't know, you know, how we would have done it. So yeah, it makes a lot of sense. And so I think this is a good kind of place to, to, to really start things because let's not take anything away from the team that you started on, mm -hmm. you know, because I think the team that you started on um, really helped set a, an amazing foundation. And quite Absolutely. frankly, you know, for, for everybody watching, I really believe that most agents getting in the business should start on a team. I would definitely agree with you um, in that. I think it is the best way to get into an industry that is uber competitive. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and get some credibility, get some experience. You know, even, you know, you get in, you think your friends and family are gonna use you. They're kind of like watching, waiting to see if it's That's like right. flip or flop, right? Sure. You know, nobody's gonna put their biggest uh, investment, all their hard earned equity on the line just so, you know, somebody they care about can make a little bit of money. They want to. Sure. But you know you got to have a background, you know, and I think it it makes your sphere of influence comfortable with you. It gives you experience. It's going to be able to get you out at showings, talking to buy and sellers, um, and making all those early on mistakes that I think everybody has to make to kind of understand the real roadmap to success. That's right. So what I always say all the time, the learnings in the doing, oh, yeah. right? So you had a bunch of success on a mm -hmm. team, which is what I recommend every agent do. So if you're watching this and you're getting into real estate or you're thinking about getting into real estate, you should start on a team. Uh, and then you got to the point you said, okay, the next step in my career is becoming an independent agent, mm -hmm. really honing in my craft, building my own book of business, if you will. Mm -hmm. And you started to look at options, right? And so um, how did you originally hear about Brookstone? So I had been friends with you on Facebook for you know however long, and I've seen your, your signs around you know here and there. My propaganda. Uh, yeah, your propaganda. Yeah, I remember I worked in downtown Rochester and there yeah. was like a listing right on Main Street there that oh, had, a, yes. had a big sign with your name on it. So I knew who you were and I'm always paying attention uh, to who the big players in real estate are because I want to, you know, be among them someday. Sure. So, and I saw, you know, when Brookstone launched, I think you put a bunch of stuff on Facebook you know, teasing the 100% commission, you know, teasing the, the company culture. I always remembered that um, a lot of like the graphic design stuff that you mm -hmm. use, the black and gold and the um, feedback is a gift and all that stuff, 100% commission, it all kind of stuck in my mind and I kept seeing it and kept kind of like waving it off in my mind like, ah, oh, you know, just blowing it off, doesn't make sense. There's something weird going on yeah. over there. There's gotta be some sort of disconnect, um, but eventually, you know, I really, um, I liked listening to you talk. I felt like you knew what you were doing. I'd seen some of your YouTube videos, some of your prospecting, coaching stuff, and I figured it was at least worth, you know, coming to sit down with you and find out, you know, what exactly it is. That's, that's what I want. I just was kind of in a discovery mode, but it, I was a skeptic. I was like, it can't be, you know, what it is. I'm going to go find out prove myself right and move on with my life. You know? Cool, so you took action, right? You said, you know what, let me just go find out, right? There's no harm in finding out if this thing is real or if it's not real. So we had our initial meeting. Yep. What, so so you had all these thoughts coming into the meeting. Yeah. Then you left the meeting. What did you think at that point? Uh, I couldn't stop thinking about it really. I was like, you know, how, how can this be possible? You know, my you know number one question. You come in, and Connor, you know, hundred percent commission. You know, we both agreed that that was a big win. Mm -hmm. And then you know what I wanted was well, what's the cost? Well, what's the cost when I found out what it was and how minimal it is and what you get for it? It blew my mind. Um, you know, all the tools that I was going to want that you know I was figuring that I might have to pay for by myself are supplied for somebody who wants to do direct prospecting. Um, the training, the mentoring, the leadership. The culture it was all there. You could feel it. Culture and environment is like when those two things mm -hmm. you know are tying in together. Well, it's there's an energy, you know, and I, I could feel that from you. I could feel that you had, you know, things figured out, and you know, I was a believer. You know, I guess after day one, all cool. the stuff that you're doing. So I think one of the interesting things that you said to me before this interview and in this interview was. If it was possible that a brokerage was offering to an agent to keep all of their money, surely you were going to give up things oh, in yeah. return, right? Yeah. And so your mindset was, okay, well, what do I have to give up, right? Mm -hmm. And so now that you're here, right? So fast forward, you make the decision, you become a believer, you join on. 
um, there's a lot of people right now watching this or that will watch this in the future that have the same thoughts. Like, okay, great, I get it, it's 100% commission, mm -hmm. you pay $300 a month and you get to keep all your money, mm -hmm. but you don't get anything, right? It's just yeah. a flat fee, discount brokerage. You probably, there's not a lot of value there um, outside of that 100% commission. Is that what you've experienced or has it been different for you? No, it actually has been quite the opposite, you know, and you know, being on a team where you split your, your money, you should feel like you get a whole lot for that. And it's crazy because, you know, being here for I think about a month and a half, it feels like I'm getting more and like something about that still just feels so broken in my mind. Yeah. You know, I'm like, pinch me, well, you know, why <laughs> Why is all this happening? Yeah. Um, there's no corners being cut. The training has been awesome. Um, I can tell that you've been refining, especially the onboarding for the new agents. Yeah. You know, gave me a new agent checklist, all the things that I should be prioritizing. I knocked that out. Um, listing presentations, you know, uh, buyer presentations, all that stuff, the monthly trainings. It's been fantastic and it's it's stuff that works and it, you know, it works because it's what you, you know, found out, you know, but by doing things wrong and doing things right, what did That's work right. and, you know, giving it to all the agents at this company, I think is, you know, the value is just off the charts. Yeah, I mean, you know, and, and so thank you for that, you know, and I think, um, for the, for the people just like you that were skeptical, you know, I think the question that people ought to ask is, well, why do we do what we do, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone knows now kind of what we do, um, but and maybe how we do it, but mm -hmm. I think the important question is, just like kind of Simon Sinek talks about, why are we doing what we are doing? And um, I think that we need to do a better job of a company kind of articulating or explaining to the industry why we do what we do, and that is, we built the company, and, and the reason why you should know why we're doing is we built this company through the lens of a real estate agent who is selling real estate, mm -hmm. right? And so when you do that, right, if, if all the real estate agents um, were to build a company for themselves, what would it be? Mm -hmm. What would be included? And that's how we got to the point that we're at right now. Yeah. We wanted to have high value because a lot of a lot of agents that I hear that I talk to, they don't feel like they get a lot in return for yeah. whatever commission split that they're on. Oh yeah. Right? So that's number one. So we wanted the agents to feel like they got a lot of value. Then a lot of agents said, well, I wanna keep all the money, all right? So, okay, well, let's give them all the money. Yeah. Uh, what else do they need? They need coaching, they need training, they yep. need all of these different things, and so that's why we're doing what we're doing. And then the other thing, people are like, well, how do you make money? How are you ever gonna stay in business? How does that, I don't understand, right? Yeah. And so, well, if you do the numbers, right, and if you actually just put it on a spreadsheet and you do the numbers, mm -hmm. um, as we grow and scale, we are we are a membership based company. We're like a gym membership, mm -hmm. right? And one so one that I actually use. One that you actually <laughs> use. That's right. And so it's really simple how it works. You know, as we scale up, we chose to um, make a lot less per agent, mm -hmm. but we're a cash flow company. It's very consistent on yeah. how our business model looks. And so that's the why, and that's how it all works. But you want to add anything to now that you are here on 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 what your experience has been like? I guess, um, you know, and when I was looking at different brokerages, I know that, you know, your cap could be as low as 16 grand. It could be as high as like, you know, 20, 22, 24. And just, I guess, really thinking about what do you get for that money and who that value proposition is slighted towards. Is it slighted mm -hmm. towards you or is it slighted towards the broker? This is the only company that I feel like they're giving you reasons to keep all your money rather than all the other brokerages are trying to come up with new and creative ways to make you feel justified in paying that $20,000 cap and paying that six to 8% franchise fee. I mean, being in real estate and, you know, especially on a team and I, I get, you know, I was paying for, you know, kind of an education on the team. Sure. Someone to show me the ropes, I guess. But, you know, it's just, uh, I don't know, it's an incredible thing to be able to see your commission check, you know, you type in 3% times the purchase price and you know that's what it is. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. And it gives me an opportunity to say I have a listing, you know, I have 20% or 30% or 40% more to go towards marketing that that's listing. Right. You know, I can bring more value to my clients. That's right. With more money to work with. Um, so, I don't know, I guess if, if, if you're a skeptic like I was, you know, I would, you know, say that they should at least take 30 minutes to sit down and talk to you about it. Sure. Because, you know, I thought there was gonna be some sort of, you know, 
Wizard of Oz effect where, mm. you know, they draw back the curtain. It's like, oh, there it, it is. There yeah. was no magic. Yeah, yeah, right. There was no magic. It's a 20% franchise fee or, you know, yeah. something like that. I, however I thought it would work, it was not the case. And, you know, you were extremely transparent with me. And um, once I saw it, I couldn't really unsee it, I guess. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah. I mean, really, it's really simple. I mean, we're trying to, and I think we're, we're, we're heading down that path. We're trying to create a company that is for the agent. And that thing you talk about that I talk about all the time is this value exchange on which which side of, of the equation is, is it broker centric or yep. agent centric? And yep. really what you're talking about that we talk about all the time is we're trying to build an agent centric company. And yep. so it's, it's a very simple, basic foundational business principle. If you can build a company um, that's for the people, for the agent, surely they will come and your business will grow. Yep. And that's how we win. And, and, and it's amazing. I get questions all the time like, well, how do you, how, why, why do you do this? I'm like, yeah. well, just think about that question. If we build this like we are for the agents to win, do more agents come here or less agents if come you here? build it, they, they will come. come. Right? And so we've grown to a hundred agents in six months. Yeah, fastest a growing company in Michigan. Maybe one of the ones in the real estate industry ever. I don't know yeah. that for certain, yeah. but it's, it's a simple concept. Yeah. You know, provide a ton of value. The business will grow. Everyone will win. Yeah, and I think a lot of companies are, are coming out and saying, you know, buy the agent for the agent. Well, if the agent isn't taking home, you know, the money that they worked hard for, you know, is it really for them in the end? Um, you know, I think if you compare against mo most companies, you know, what the cost is here and what you get against, you know, broker or XY or whatever, yep. what you get, I think you'll find that it's very similar. And, you know, once you get in here, you might feel like you're getting more just based on the, the culture and the environment that you build here. Yeah, no, I love it, man. And so I guess I'll leave this with anybody that's watching this, you know, um, and I, didn't, I really didn't mean for this to be like a, a, a recruiting pitch for Brookstone. It was yeah. more about telling the story to, to people that are skeptic, uh, have that skepticism of, yeah. is it real? You know, you got a top producing agent who felt that same way, who is now living and breathing this thing. Yep. So that was point number one. And I guess the other piece that I'll leave with, with you that are watching this, is um, that we don't want to take anything away from the other companies or teams because if you're an agent and you're watching this and you're on a team or a company where the value is real, mm -hmm. that's great too, right? Yeah. Brookstone's not like the end all be all. It's not for every agent. Yep. What we're talking about is, you know, uh, that value being tangible, right? Mm -hmm. And if it's not for an agent, that's the only point that they should look at something different. Would you agree? Absolutely. Otherwise, Absolutely. if you're in a good spot, awesome. And so if you want to learn more about Brookstone, it's real simple. Just go to joinbrookstonerealtors.com. You can kind of learn about everything that we're doing. Connor, I want to thank you for, for doing this. Absolutely, um, man. I'm really excited to kind of watch you and your future grow, your yep. career grow, and, and what's going to come from you. And maybe we'll do another one of these in a year from now. Yeah. And the show people can kind of see. That's right. Yeah. Show, show your evolution of your career. So anything last that you want to add to the audience before we uh, cut out of here? Um, keep 100% of your commission. It's a good feeling. You know, the way you feel about, uh, you know, a $200,000 sale when you have a 70-30 split compared to 100. Mm -hmm. Man, I mean, it, it it really drives the incentive for me and it makes me feel like I won't even work that much harder, you know, for my clients and everything. So awesome. find out what it's all about. Cool. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for doing this. Absolutely. And uh, we'll talk to you guys soon, I'm sure. Thanks for watching.